We got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Random Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Back after quite a little while. Finally get a little time, sit down, you know, do the fucking thing that we used to do all the time. And, um, yeah, our base is built up really, really big. I did not do hardly any of this, but these, uh, these Japaneses, let me tell you, they are in it to win it. So, we've got hot, cold, charity, uh, weapon shop. And, yeah, we've got basically, like, the best weapons that we can have at the moment. Doing a lot more damage than than the old ones. Really, really nice. I am uh, super surprised by that. Got a little bit to turn in at the Divinity Stone. Did you see that guy riding a fucking raptor? Dude. Dude, I need to do that. How, how am I do that? Yeah, look at that. Holy crap, that's awesome. Alright. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to uh, tame a pet. I have a bear right now. And I basically got everything kind of halfway figured out on how taming works. So, raptor. That's what I want. I want a raptor. So the first thing that we need is some uh, webbing. Wing webbing. Mm, and it seems I don't have any here. What is the other ingredient? There's a little bit of a... Uh, regents back in some of the, the back boxes there. So the first thing that you're going to need... <clears throat> Taming crystal, relatively easy to obtain. Ten spirit residue, sunstone topaz. We've got that in the taskbar already. Next thing would be the spirit taming bow. Not necessary, but really helps with not killing the thing that you're trying to capture. Thirty spirit residue, four thin leather, eight roughwood branch. Uh, that's not too bad either, matter of factly. A few spirit arrows. Oh yeah, we got some of them already, I think. Um, how many do we have? 269, that's gonna be enough for our purposes. Spirit Siphon, basically you can hand this to a teammate uh, to help you tame some of the, the harder beasts to obtain, but I'm gonna hopefully find a raptor with a relatively low rating to it. We've got the Essence Bond Lure, it's basically a trap, things step in it. Lesser Totem of the Other Side. This is an okay thing, especially if you're trying to catch something that is going to get up in your face. It's a little bit costly, you can't use it multiple times, only lasts for about three minutes, but the nice thing is you can run out of range of the totem and go back to the, the regular world whenever you want. So, we might build one of those. Our other option to get to the spirit realm would be Potion of the Other Side. So that's where the wing webbing comes in. And then we also need 10 Essence of Skogar Fruit and 10 Essence of Hearth Melon. So I did see some laying about a little bit earlier. So I'm going to head over there and see... Oh, oh, they moved the boxes. They moved the boxes, everybody. Is it in here now? I sure hope so. So we've got a bunch of other shrooms. I could use other shrooms to stay on the other side as well. Let's see, 5 times 20, that's going to keep me there for a minute. But uh, I'd really prefer something a bit a bit more useful. Something that I don't have to spam all the time. So, lots of potions ready here. Yix and Blood Elixirs. Ice Thistle, Smolder Vine. Hmm. Elixir of the Expansive Minds. Oh, that's pretty sweet. If you're going to do, like, just a bunch of killing. Damn, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Elixirs of Cooling, Ice Thistle, Sage Lichen, Gold Poppy, Blood Orchid. Not what we're looking for so far. Bjorn Heather, here's some Hearth Melon. Here's some Skogar Fruit. Alright. So they don't have the potions pre-made in here. But there are some of the regions to get the potions all made. I guess I'll head on back to my base. I can... If I could stop rubber banding, that would be great. And, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you guys some of what's been going on in the base. Where's my bear? Hey, there you are, bear. So I'll go ahead and mount up on that. Get my enchanted riding harness, so he'll go just a little bit faster. It looks like he's going slow, <clears throat> but he is actually going maybe 10% faster than I would be going on foot. However, the, uh, the stamina runs out a lot quicker, so... I don't know, if I didn't have the marathon runner perk... Um, things might be a little bit different. 
That's another thing we should talk about. Perks. I got so many different perks now. Uh, basically, a 2.0 patch came along, and I decided that I needed to readjust my perks. I still say the same classes, uh, that is, Assassin and Pathfinder with the rock swing and the double jump and stuff like that. But uh, a little bit of stuff has changed. I think it's really nice that I was able to change my perks. Because that marathon running, look how much further I get. Oh yeah. Basically get all the way there. Alright, so let's have a look around my new, my new house. The front room is basically the same, but I built a wall up here so people can't just jump up to my, to my forge. There's my campfire. Campfire has been <laughs> there forever. It said it would expire in 72 hours. I don't know if that's actually true. So, let's see. We got my forge here. Got a bunch of stuff cooked up. Um, I probably need to build a few more walls. Because up here is where I have all of my deliciousness. Or, not really deliciousness. Especially not for high level players. They'll be like, so what? So what? You have some cement. Fuck yourself. But, uh, it's pretty nice. I do enjoy it. So, this is where I keep the things that at least have value to me. Here's some master iron fur hunting bows. Some iron, iron siege armor. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put it on. That's what I'm gonna do. The swamp armor that I have now is basically to prevent getting too hot when you go to the swamp. So... Spirit Taming Bow will probably also need. Yes, indeed. So let's equip that. Swap out the Crag Rock Blaster. And I need these armors. Just real quick. Extreme Armor! Like 129 compared to 72. That is significant. Also increases max health, but decreases run speed. We don't really need run speed for our purposes. At least uh, as far as I could tell. So I'll go ahead and stack all these purple armors. I I've hardly made anything. My faction has just been on point, you know? I log in or I die or something bad happens and then I just hop back in and I'm like, Oh, I need, I need some more armor and it's there. It's prepared for me. They've really got it together. I'm super impressed. Order is definitely ordered. You know what I mean? So let's eat a little bit of meat. Uh, let's eat a little bit more meat. Yeah. <clears throat> and some water. Delicious. Alright. I heard a raptor down there somewhere. Might be kind of hard to spot him in the middle of the night. There he is. Hey, friendo. What are you doing over there, friendo? So, we need to tag him with the tame crystal. And then, um... Proceed to go to the spirit realm. So what I want to do first is probably get those potions together. And then I can tag him and bag him right there. No fuss, no muss. You know what I'm saying? So get my alchemy lab. Oh, I do have a little bit of skoger fruit here. Okay. Well, that's nice. And... Did somebody just die? Like right next to my house? What the fuck was that? I'm gonna close this door. Y'all making me paranoid. Holy shit. Heesh. Okay, so I need a little bit of water. I guess this'll work. Put this skin in there, right? Hmm. It can only make essences? I can't make the actual thing itself? Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to run all the way back. But I guess that was better than uh, trying to kill a bunch of stuff for wing webbing. Which actually isn't that difficult to do, but I can give my, my new armor a test run. How's that? The run speed actually doesn't seem to go down that much. Especially with that Marathon Runner perk. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. So let me show you some of the, uh, the perks that I have. For the Assassin's class, I went down into Tumble. So basically, if I miss my Rock Swing or something like that, I don't take a whole lot of damage, and I get a speed boost. Look at that. <laughs> How the fuck? I probably don't even need rock wings at, at this point, since I have that marathon uh, 
or the the tumble perk and then the tumble perk also seems to stack with marathon runner so fucking amazing really really nice perk <clears throat> got the find weakness reduces armor that's relatively useful assassin's resolve just to consume less food double jump oh my god it's godly widow's web is what i'm going for next so basically uh if you're taking damage you will apply uh, poison effect to whoever's attacking you and also snare them which is really really nice for running away <laughs> which I do a lot uh, next one that I'm probably gonna go for is uh, cruel apothecary when you deal poison damage you have a chance to apply a random poison effect to the target oh yeah and then that final thing for the assassin is pretty decent reduce reload time <clears throat> increase range whoop de doo Oh, I actually do have a point to spend, too. So we'll go there. A little more, a little more poison action. This is my Marathon Runner bonus. It used to be experience in action, but I'm already relatively well-leveled, so I didn't worry too much about that. We got Tangle Shot, which can just be done by crafting uh, the Tangle Arrows. Trailblazing is pretty okay as well, but Rock Swings just was the most tasty to me. Pack Rat. So you can carry around more materials. A lot of my perks, if that perk is available, um, I'll take the the weight reduction almost every single time. Got acclimation, reduce or increase heat and cold resistance. That's actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, how can you refuse the raw materials? I can just gear up for heat or cold resistance. Untangled reduces effectiveness of movement impairing effects. I don't PvP much, so that's not a problem for me. Bonfire, I went for it again. Exhausting Shots and forest Forge both looked really cool to me, but uh, I did decide to go with Bonfire just because not too many people in my faction have it. The next ones up are Pet pet Ranks, which is pretty cool. Man vs. Wild doesn't seem so useful to me, but Hunting Partner looks really, really nice. Uh, it gives you a little heal, a little more damage, and then Man's Best Friend. Increase mount movement speed and carry capacity so I'll probably go for that because more movement speed sounds like a good thing to me and the final uh, thing that we would get to pick we get the uh, cleanse probably killing a target increases the armor of you and your pet by one stacking up to 50 that's okay cleanse j that just seems awesome all poison disease and wound effects are you kidding me amazing and then uh, increase your you and your pets damage by 20% for 20 seconds 20 seconds is a long ass time, but I really get poisoned and wounded and diseased a whole lot, so I would go for cleanse. Um, Pathfinder Mastery is the final thing. Increase harvest speed, rare resource finds, max carry weight. Those are all very, very nice things. The other classes are pretty cool too, you know? You got that uh, that shaman, you got the, the warrior, but I I couldn't bring myself to do it. How can you How can you refuse the assassin and the pathfinder? Anywho, we're now making potions of the other side, so I can get to the other side, the spirit realm. Yes, this is where our, our true task lies. Yes, <laughs> oh, I like it so much. And we're going to capture and keep it forever. <laughs> uh, so I think that big dino that was walking around is probably the one that we want to capture. I think that would be relatively nice. We can uh, hold him close against us every single night. Won't that be lovely? <laughs> and I used to not be able to run to my base and back uh, with just one bar of stamina. I'd have to recharge it a little bit. So that marathon man perk is very, very nice. My wife likes the fact that I'm a marathon man too. hi -o! hi -o! Got him! hi <laughs> Um, I don't know if you can get to my roof from from any of these things. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. I don't really want to wait for rock swings to recharge. So, uh, yeah, let's just let's just hit up this fucking Dracosaur or whatever. Did I get him? Yeah, he's got like swirlies around him. And his pet rating is really low at 180. So he's disappeared now. We shall disappear now. Oh god! Oh god, they're everywhere! Holy shit! I should have I should have been prepared for this. Spirit arrow. Here we go. Jesus. Let me tell you, I gotta get my healing potions. 
Try not to crit the pet while you are catching them. Hopefully I'm not going to die in the spirit realm because I didn't leave any potions at my house. So I'll have to collect some more, some more goods. Holy shit. This is a dangerous prospect. I don't like it. Not one bit hit. Alright. Where's my dude? Where's my dude? Did I outrun him? I don't know. There he is. Oh, and I ran out of, uh... Ran out of potion time. So, now I gotta get back in here. Good lord. And I basically reset my meter. Which is no good. If I could just, uh... Nail this thing extremely quickly. I think he's gonna die. There's no way I'm gonna be able to catch it. Fart! We're gonna have to wait for another, uh, Territorial Drake to spawn. Well, the rating seems to be going up. Keep it going. Now the question is, do I use another potion? I'm going to. I have, I have faith that we will be able to do this. He's almost dead. Look at that. Holy crap. I crit him. Damn it. Fart. Well, Territorial Drake is dead, but maybe I have time to uh, find another, another critter out here. All I have so far is the bear, so if I could find like a nice wolf or uh, I don't know. I don't know what else they got out here. I'd really like a stag. That would be awesome. A lot of people in my faction use the stag. And uh, I'm a little bit thirsty. A little bit hungry. Mostly because the spirit world makes you thirsty and hungry. Spirit sickness is stacking up. Hmm. We might be able to catch one of them swamp creatures. A glut or something like that. That might be kind of cool. I'm going to run out of potion sooner rather than later. And I don't see anything. Nobody has tried to tame a, a creature over here recently. Or if they did try to tame it, they were completely successful at it. Which kind of sucks. I'm going to have to go back to, uh, to my world. And actually kill my own creature. Oh, there's something. What is that? A dire banshee. Sure. Come with me. Come with me. We could be friends forever. Huzzah! Is that working? Looks like it's working. All right. But I need another potion of the other side. Yep. Go for it. Stay on this side. I do have uh, quite a bit of armor, so I'm not too worried. The thing that worries me the most is just killing the uh, the pet before I end up catching it. I don't know how I ended up doing it with that bear. The bear was relatively easy. This thing has a pet rating of 203. I can't remember what, what Mr. Bear had. But I think it was less than that. Alright. Let's just keep uh, plugging him. I really don't even know why I'm running away because this thing is... Almost unable to hurt me. Come on. You're gonna be my friend, Mr. Banshee. Please don't crit him. Aim for the tail or some spot that you know is not gonna be a crit. It works well for, um, well, basically everything. Especially the, what you call them, Yixins. Yeah, that's what you want. Because they'll get right in your face and you cannot hurt them. Or cannot crit them unless they're turned around. And they don't turn around on you. Damn. This is going to be a difficult one. It's going to be so close. My spirit sickness is just through the roof at this time. I might die here. And in, in that case, I'll have to get more... Uh, more potions and go back through a portal or something like that. It's just not going to be a good time. It's not what I'm looking to do. 
So, let's see, is this guy getting close? I'm gonna end up killing him again. This is terrible. Please don't die. Please don't die. Just be my friend. We need a heal spell. God damn it. Oh, my spirit sickness is just uh, insane. I'm not gonna last for much longer. I don't have very much food left, so... I can look for something else, but um, I should probably go back to my world relatively soon. There's a wolf. 59 pet rating? Yeah, okay. Let's try it out. Come on, buddy. You gonna be my friend. Prowlfang. I prefer a Halfang over a Prowlfang. I think they're stronger. I'm not, I'm not really sure about that. Don't quote me on that. Oh yeah, this is going to be an easy tame for sure. Just have to not crit him. I mean, even if I do crit him, I think I think we're relatively okay. Alright, you good? Aim successful! Alright, we got him right before the potion ran out. And right before I ran out of food. So we should be back home relatively shortly. And let me heal my wound with these leather wraps. Spirit Sickness stacked to 14? Holy God. Saps your soul. Max health reduced by 3% per stack. Energy and hydration drain increased 100% per, per stack. So I was increasing my hydration drain by like, what, 15, 1500. That is, that is unheard of. That is madness. Oh, there's a stag. There's the stag that I wanted. Let's get rid of this fucking spider. One shot, one kill. 291. That's uh, pretty difficult. He knows I'm trying to capture his soul now. One minute is not long enough to chase down the stag, though. I will, I will say that for sure. We'll go ahead and collect some spurt. Get a little bit of spurt. Everybody likes that. We got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. How about you? Speaking of spirit, we're almost halfway done. With the game. With the game. I'm now starving. Shit. This is not going to be good. I got to I got to kill something. I got to eat something. I got to do something. There's no melon or anything in my bag. I am uh looking pretty fucked here. I should just go in my house to die. That's fine. There we go. I made it. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray, everybody! <laughs> kind of cheesing the game there, but... Hey, ain't nobody gonna be mad at me for that. Can't be mad about that. I made it back. Everything's good. We just have to, uh... Reset my taskbar and stuff like that. Alright, take all this shit, yeah. Uh, equip this, and water bags. Taming crystal I don't necessarily need at the moment. I'll keep it though, just in case. Salva poppy, always useful. Vita root, very nice. Hmm, I've got one potion of the other side left. I guess I should save it for... An emergency situation. I heard somebody walking outside my house. It might also be a creature. It might also be me. Am I hearing my own footsteps? This game just makes me super paranoid. Not as paranoid as Rust, but uh, pretty paranoid nonetheless. So, we talked about the classes. Let's talk about the skills that I decided to go for. So you got Wisdom of the Wield. I basically took that first, but now I'm all about that resource weight. So, hell yeah, I took that. Uh, Expert Lumberjack, increase harvest speed with the axe. I just think that's going to stack really well with the Pathfinder ability. Log Hunter's nice, but guess what? Just hit a couple more trees and you're doing basically the same thing. Stone Cutting, of course, increase carry capacity again. Uh, Stonebound Will is massively, massively better than Daggers of Stone. Please don't ever take Daggers of Stone if you, if you love yourself. 
Uh, Stonebound Will will basically make you immune to frost and fire damage. It does cost uh, a little bit of weight. I think I lost like 60, 63 out of my weight if I if I took Stonebound Will, but still, totally worth it. Fuck Daggers of Stone. Metallurgy, Prospector's Eye is really nice for just finding Flux and uh, what whatever. It's the Flux, Tin, and Bronze, and whatever faction you're on depends on what you're actually able to mine, but Prospector's Eye will allow you to get all three so that you can make Bronze Bars without ever having to uh, expose yourself to the other faction's dangeriness. Um, there's a lot of other good stuff here. Gold Rush, hmm. I, I look forward to leveling that up just a little bit more. And then we got Botany, Otherworldly Flora, definitely the way to go. Friend of the Flower is not as good at all because Spirit is what wins you the game. So always go for that. Uh, Sharp Sickle, increase harvest speed once again. I, I was tempted by Tensile Vines and Angel Braid, but one, our team has plenty, and two, I really want to see how this stacks with the Pathfinder ability. Uh, butchery, we got the skin, because I I need skins more than meat most of the time. I actually need meat right now, but that's mostly because we were in the spirit world for so long. And then we got Bloody Work versus Relish the Task. Harvesting health as I harvest creatures, or restoring health as I harvest creatures, seems tempting to me. However, um, I usually don't get hit. <laughs> I don't find that to be a problem most of the time. Uh, and then bloody work. Harvest creatures with brutal efficiency, increasing the yield but making more noise. That's absolutely fine. Adventuring. Reduce gear item. Increase health. Heck yeah. You know, I'm t you know what I'm about. Increase carry capacity. Again. Uh, level 10, I'm probably going to go for reducing weight of material items again. Ace Architect seems like a cool ability. Refunded 90% of the cost of frames that you place down for 90 seconds with a 20 minute cooldown. So that can save you quite a few resources, but carrying back resources is what is the most important thing, at least in my opinion. Invention, I'm not quite there yet. Maybe someday. Mysticism, we've got the spirit capacity again, that wins you the game. Cooking, increase cooking speed, yep, for those moments when you're starving. Shard Blaster, increase attack speed. Once I get the uh, assassin leveled all the way up, I will be increasing my reload speed as well. So that's like kind of a twofer, really, really nice. Then the repeater, I took punishment this time around. I took the clip size before, but 30% uh, is not that much out of like 19 or whatever. You basically get a couple of extra bolts. Punishment is definitely the way that you want to go, uh, at least in my opinion. Finally, bows. Increase draw speed, increase critical damage. Um, moving while you're aiming the bow is nice, but usually if I'm aiming, I'll have a repeater out or something like that. If you're moving while you're aiming, that means you're moving close, and you should probably just get a repeater. Um, I was trying out the... what you call it? What you call it? That fucking Crag Rock Blaster. Yeah, that's what it is. I should probably grab that as well. I'm not going to need this Spirit Siphon anytime soon. So let's uh, let's grab the Crag Rock Blaster. Where the fuck did I put that? Here it is. Cool. And I will shove the Spirit Siphon back in the uh, back in the box. Get in the flask. Get my spirit taming bow. I really don't use the spirit pouch at all. I don't even know why I crafted it. I guess just to say that I did. Um, but yeah, even riding harness I don't use that much. So let's get our swamp clothes back on. Get my swamp gear so I don't get all dehydrated in the swamp. But honestly, uh, dehydration is nothing compared to the spirit sickness that we just experienced. That spirit sickness was fucking crazy. Ended up killing me, but you know what? I tamed a wolf. I tamed a wolf. Can't nobody tell me nothing, all right? I didn't get the uh, the other two things that I tried to get, but you know what? That's that's just fine. It was just a, a little lesson in taming creatures, not in necessarily tra training, taming hard to train creatures, because for that you you do need the spirit siphon. I could probably just recruit somebody at a general chat or faction chat and be like, Hey, hey, you want to help me out with this? But ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so let's jump. Whoa. Look at that. Rock's wings. Rock's wings, baby. How you living? 
How you doing? How's things? Ah, oh, so I don't even need to worry about rock swings recharging like I used to. I just jump off of stuff now. I'm like, oh, cool, tumble bonus, bonus, uh, bonus speed for my awesome damage that I took. Do I also have water left? Yeah, I do. I do need to remember to kill something though. I need to get cooking, and we could we could maybe make a bonfire, but. Tasty cooked meat still expires, where the salted meat does not, so generally salted meat is what I want to go for. Unless I'm starving, which uh, which does happen as well. Ah, oh, so now we're back home. We're back home again, home again. Look, everybody's got like a special chest, and their special chests have like so much cool stuff in it, and my special chest has like nothing in it, even though I did make two of them. I made two special chests. Take what you need. It's all foot stuff. You guys like foot stuff? Gross. Uh, I guess I'll just grab my wolf. My wolfy wolf and see how that goes. See if he's strong or what. Are you strong, boy? Warg. Prowlfang. Rating 59. Rating 268. See... I don't understand why the 268 was super easy for me to tame. I guess because bears are bulky. You can shoot a ton of arrows into a bear and it's just like, eh, whatever. That's cool. But let's set the warg as active. We can get him leveled up just a little bit. I think that would be rather nice. And maybe he's better to ride than the bear. I don't know. Not particularly. But it feels cooler does seem like he's running a little bit faster. I think mostly because he's smaller. So, whatever. I'll take it. Nice to meet you, Mr. Warg. Warg, Wargison? How much carry weight do you have? God, he's so skinny, too. We need to get this dude fed up. Fed up! Alright. Let's go kill some stuff so we can level, level our wolf, and we can also, um, create some delicious meats. I could go to the highlands, but it's, like, cold and stuff. It's, like, super cold and stuff, and I left my cold gear back in my base. I should probably have, like, a couple of different bases. But, uh, yeah. I guess we do what we can do. Hey, here's a secret cave. Anybody want to go in the creepy cave? I do, I do. Pick me, pick me. Oh, look, it's a bear. You did. You're fucking dead. You're dead and you don't even know it. There you go. Now we get some delicious bear meat. Bear meat, bear fat, bear teeth. That'll do nicely. Now I need some logs. I forgot how to craft a fucking campfire. Uh, four logs, four crumble stone, one flint. So I need a rock. Anybody have a rock real quick? Just need to uh, smack it a couple of times. Is that is that is that a rock? Yeah, it is. One, two. Excellent. We've done a wonderful thing this day. Alrighty. Now swap out that burr meat and plop down my campfire. Should probably get a little bit more fuel for this campfire. So we are cooking quite a little bit. Uh, I'll be right back. Hmm. This tree. I don't know how I'm chopping it down with a hammer. <laughs> I switched, but I guess the animation didn't play. So now I'm chopping it all down with a hammer. Or maybe you can't chop down them shits with a... with a hammer. Just the little baby trees? That's kind of cool. Oh, grab some more logs. Hopefully I don't lose my campfire after walking ten feet away from it. That's pathetic. And we cooking meat. And we cooking meat, boys. We eating tonight. We eating tonight. Uh, here's some sticks. You can burn those too if you want. So let's see. Reduce stamina drain... Redu increase movement speed by 10%. Increase carry capacity. Yeah, that's what I need. 
Go, go. We went from 215 to 309. That is significant. Oh my, yes. I really enjoy these potions. Um, I didn't think that they were so useful, but especially like experience potions and stuff like that can really put you on another level. So if you got the spare resources, or if your team has the spare resources even, then I'd say don't hesitate to craft a little bit. Go on. Go on, get it. So should I check out this cave while that meat is cooking? I don't think I'll get lost. It's not too far away. We just have to remember that we went we went that way. It's over that little mound. Sometimes I get super fucking lost in this game though. Uh, it doesn't look like there's too much of interest in this place. Let's have a little drinky. Yeah, I was hoping for maybe some sunstone topaz or something like that. Mostly just sunstone, but it looks like most of what is in here is copper. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I don't have a ton of time left on this torch either. 14 out of 60? Yeah. We should probably just fucking pitch it. I'm going to pitch it. I'm going to buy another one when I get the chance. Or craft another one. Or I think I already have some crafted. I think they're back in my base. So, that's an option. Right now, what I really want to do is get my, my dog leveled up. You hear him over there? You hear my dog? Yeah! It's my dog! He's so loyal and wonderful. And and all those other uh, qualities that dogs are known to have. Hmm! We've also got empowered... Uh, empowered harvesting items, but I think I'm going to wait until they get up to tier 4. Oh my god, they have a tier 5 as well. Shit. That's really nice. I want that a lot. But it'll have to wait. It will have to wait. One more bear meat to cook. And then we can roll. We'll roll on out. I mean, I could roll already. Who really gives a shit about one more piece of meat? But you never know if it's gonna come in handy. I could decide that I want to go back to the spirit realm and... Yeah. If I had that extra piece of meat, I probably wouldn't have died the last time I crossed over, right? Exactly. But Poochie's here now. So uh, he's going to be a loyal friend for life. I, I always name them, but uh, the name never seems to stick. I'm going to name this one Poochie. You can see that I named my bear Urkel. Urkel! So there. That's uh, Poochie. Poochie the Prowlfang. And he's got basically no <laughs> no training points or whatever. It's really, really sad. He's, he's a level 59. I think the bear is uh, probably the one that I want to use most of the time. But it's just nice to have a, a little variety. You know, everybody likes that. I really want to get that fucking dinosaur. Dinosaur and stag. I think there's four stable slots. Maybe there's only three. If that's the case, then Poochie's going out the fucking door. Uh, am I using the right ammo? I don't know. I don't know, man. Some weird shit going on. What, you think you're somebody? Look at that. Crit him right in the face. Eat crit. Yeah. Alright. We'll fly down into the swamp. We can loop around to my house. I can uh, level up Poochie just a little bit. Where you at, Poochie? God damn it. Let me tell you something about this dog. He's not my favorite. He's not my favorite! Alright. Let's get these wasps. Plop, plop. Oh, they're going the long way. Y'all dumb as hell. You got wings. You can just fly up a mountain. Instead, they're like, let's... Let's... <laughs> What the fuck are they doing? I know I can fly, but I don't want to. Get my chitin. Ch chitin? Is it chitin or chitin? I'm not really sure. Well, I'll call it a carapace. I'll get some of this insect carapace. And I could test out the crag rock blaster, but from these distances, it's way, way better to have a, 
a bow. A bow and arrow. And look at this. Get them nailed before they even get up here. That's crazy. Hey man, that's crazy. Guess I should get my crag rock blaster now. Hey buddy. Oh, I gotta reload. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you for waiting so patiently. It seems like it doesn't do so well against these things. I mean, it's passable. It's whatever. I don't know where Poochie went. I'm trying to summon that dude. I, I should never have gotten rid of Urkel. And now, now my bear's gonna be mad at me because I've been hanging out with a stinky dog. That dog's stinky. And you know he's stinky. And you decide to take him anyways. Can only carry like a hundred. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, dude. I might need that sticky sap at some point to make cement. But I've got a little over a hundred cement. Or, or somewhere near there. So maybe we don't need it urgently. Is that my wolf? Hey! Nice to see you, buddy. This thing has a pet rating of 30. I could really easily tame that wasp. Except I left my, uh... I left my treats at home. My little potions. Oh well. Who wants that stinky wasp anyways? Not me! Bloated bug bite. Dang, what does that do? Stamina drain increase, stamina recharge decrease. So yeah, we just gotta watch our stamina a little bit. This is gonna be fine. Now I need to chop up some of this crag rock so we can improve our base a little bit further. And uh, Poochie could actually carry some of this. That would be rather nice of him. Oh boy. Is that thing coming? No, it's not. Alright. So Poochie, I need you to carry like, you know, 40, whatever. It's hardly anything. Good god. Alright, he can carry 60. See, he's so happy about it. Good job. We're so proud of you. And I'll bash up a bunch more Crag Rock because that's what I do. You know, I'm the human. I'm the leader of the pack. I gotta, I gotta show him how it's done and shit. So we could probably fit one full stack of Crag Rock. And I don't know if Poochie's gonna... What he's gonna do. Alright. Follow me and ignore resources, okay? And ignore enemies, too. So, you have one job, and that's basically to follow me around. And carry my shit when I tell you to. And don't lose it! Because I know Urkel has lost it a time or two. Get back to base after a nice mining expedition, and I'm like, Okay, Urkel, where's the iron ore? And he's like, what? You, you, you want it? You, you, you want it? I'm like, yeah, fucktard. Of course I do. That's why I picked it up in the first place. Now, where is it? You want it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, we're done. We're done. I can't anymore. All right, I'm moving super slow. Shouldn't have picked up that last little bit. Damn. These... Yeeks and blood elixirs do not stack, so I'm going to have to get rid of just uh, a pinch of crag rock. And by pinch, I mean like a little pinch. A pinchy pinch. We'll start with ten. That should do. And I'm still moving like a slug. Ten more. It's, it's not great, but it'll do. It'll do. All I got to do is get back to base... With the wolf and and shove this shit in the in the stone cutter. Where's the wolf? I swear, this dog of mine. I got I got words. I got many words. Not all of them can be said in church. Okay. Okay, cool. A little desiccating venom. But, uh, I think that just decreases thirst or something. The swamp really just wants to, uh, starve you to death. So does the spirit realm, for that matter. But the spirit realm also has, like, the lost wandering around. 
which aren't actually as threatening as maybe they could be or even should be I don't know I don't want like our base to just get fucking wrecked every week because that's not any fun but yeah the past couple of weeks we've done the reckoning and it's gone relatively well except for the the one that I didn't show up for there was one on Saturday I didn't show up for and they're like we got wrecked blah 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 and I'm like oh well, my B, I guess. Alright, get in here. Don't die. Don't die. We're good. God damn it. Every time I make it to my house and I end up eating shit. It's fine. It's fine. I'm alive again. Hey, everybody. Wow, look. It's my corpse. That's super awesome. How unexpected to see myself here. My dead ass self. Yeah, boy. I gotta put all my stuff back on the taskbar. That's probably the biggest pain about dying. Well, that and durability. Hmm. Let's check the durability. We're actually looking okay on that. Alright. I think as I died in my armor last time. Or because nobody was beating the shit out of me. So whatever Poochie had on him is now gone. Because <laughs> he despawned once I died, I think. So we'll go ahead and craft up some crag rock bricks. I'm going to go ahead and place these other crag rock bricks. And that's going to be good enough for like five. Five, I guess roof tiles is what we need to do next. Primarily. Oh, here's more. Yeah. Cool. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, so the outside of this upper floor is all done. As far as the crag rock go, we just need to do the inside a little bit. And primarily, I think the roof is the way to go. Because if you survey the roof from the top of one of these things, you can see that pretty obviously I've got some shit hidden under one of these four tiles. So I'm going to expand this out just a little bit. Make it a little less inconspicuous, or a little more inconspicuous. So, there we go. Like nothing even happened. Alright. Sweet. Sweet! What a good day! What a lovely day! Can I summon my wolf up here? Yeah, I can! Super! Super duper! You wanna come inside, doggy? He knows doggies aren't allowed inside. Right? Yeah, you do. Alright. Stay on the roof, then. That's that's fucking fine. Ah! Good times. Good times. Anyways, friends, we're going to do a little bit more work. I hope that the next episode will be interesting, edifying, uh, other synonym for interesting. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, uh, I hope that you'll like, comment, and subscribe. If you did enjoy the episode, that is always, always appreciated. I'm going to stop this crafting. Just in case somebody shows up, um, I'm going to make it not easy for them to drag all my crag rock bricks home. Ha ha ha. Joke's on you. Anyways, uh, we've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you should like to support me at all on any of those platforms, I would be massively, massively grateful as well. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Rend. I hope you join us for the next one, friends. Thanks again for watching, and until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.